Hello, and welcome to this video. Uh, in here, I'm going to be showing you the running of a Linux, a new Linux operating system on a rather old computer. What we have here is a desktop from about 2001. It's got uh, a Pentium 4, 1.6 gigahertz CPU, and roughly 750 megs of RAM. Uh, cannot boot from USB can, and it doesn't have a DVD drive so it was kind of interesting to install the operating system that I'll be demoing. Uh, I might make a, I'll probably make a video about that uh, in the future, near future. Uh, so the the uh, Linux operating system that we're going to be sh showing today is this. Lubuntu 18.04, which was released uh, just last month in April 2018. Yeah, so this computer is um, was in 20 created, made in 2001, so it's more than 15 years old now. And we're go going to go ahead and boot it up right now from the Grub menu, and we can see how long that's going to take. Um, should take a bit of time. Uh, and once it's booted we're going to do a few things. We're going to try to uh, open up a Word document file and try to make some edits, see how that, how well that works. Uh, compare it up against a PDF that was um, created uh, in Word from that same document. And, oh, what's going on? Okay, so as you can see, uh, we're looking at a black screen still and I think something is not working well because it ha this happened to me a cup just oh wait oh there we go okay surprise um, just the previous time I tried to record after uh, updating some uh, uh, some packages and it didn't actually boot I was sitting here waiting five minutes uh, okay anyway so we're, we're in um, so we'll, that would took what a minute or so. It wasn't so bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the first test, which is to plug in this USB drive and open up the documents in there. Give me one sec to plug it in. Okay, plugged in. Now, those of you who have seen my uh, other videos, you might actually recognize this computer. This is the same one that I used um, to create a video a few years back uh, with the same concept, you know, putting uh, Lubuntu on the latest version of Lubuntu on it uh, and seeing how well it would run. So, as you can see, it didn't take too long. I mean, it took me a while to find the, the the port to plug into, but uh, let's actually start by opening up the PDF and then we can set that to one side and you can see what the document should look like. Okay, so there it is. I'm just going to try to bring it. Oh, I cannot. I'm trying to shrink the width, but it's not letting me. But anyway, okay, so you can see I've got my title here, table of contents. Uh, heading section and then another heading and then uh, an image here that's embedded in this fashion so in the bottom right corner of the screen okay so that's pretty much what we're looking at with this document so now I'm going to try to open up this doc this docx file with LibreOffice it did not come uh, pre-installed with uh, with the, the base installation of Lubuntu, I had to go into the uh, package manager and, and uh, install it from there. And wow, it looks like it's actually working. That's great. Um, oh, no. no. <laughs> okay, no. So um, unlike my, my previous uh, video, actually this, this failed to work. Uh, I cannot get uh, LibreOffice to open. Uh, at least not the uh, the word processor part. So let's instead open up open up in this Abbey word. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't 
use this program. First time I used it was about half an hour ago when I was getting ready to record this video. Um, and uh, uh, you know, on the plus side, it it loads it, and it actually opened up pretty quickly. Uh, but as you can see, to compare, well, I mean, let me. I guess if I shrink this down a bit, huh? automatic. Let's go with automatic. And can I? I still can't squeeze that down more. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, let's just shove that over to the side. And I just accidentally moved it to another desktop, I think. Okay, and let's bring it back. Can I? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Okay, anyway, so going that's the image there, and here you can see, well, with Abby Word anyway, it's um, it's on the wrong side. But let's try something. Let's go into File and save it in maybe a different format, and then maybe LibreOffice can work with that. So I will choose. I'm looking for ODF or o oh, actually ODT. I think this is what it is. This is the open format okay and i will instead i will save it to i guess desktop and i'll call it uh test and just just test i'm going to assume it's going to add dot odt to there okay well that's saved let me close actually yeah i'll close that now and oh there it is so let's see if i can open that right click open oh. LibreOffice Writer. We'll see if it works. No, a complete failure. Okay, but anyway, so as you saw, so it we could open it up. Um, the formatting was off, but uh, actually, let me go back into that and see what else we can actually do here. Okay, I'm trying to open it. You can see that. Okay, here we go. Back in. Am I? What is this? Why is it blank? Okay. It injected a blank page at the start. Fine. Okay, and let's see if I can add stuff. Uh, here we go with some new stuff. Sure, I guess. Um, what happened to the... Oh. Wow. Okay, uh, saving as ODT did not work well because, you know, as you can see, the picture is gone. So that, that was not good. Let's close this without saving and go back to this and see if I can save maybe as a, just a regular word DOC, the original, the, you know, the previous version of that. Because I do see, I think I saw that as an option. Yep. Okay, let's just go with that. So, test. Uh -huh. Saved. Okay, and it's still there. Now I'm going to close it and reopen. Oh, wait. What's that opening in? Okay, alright. Oh, sure. Okay. That sort of works. Okay, so I guess with uh, there's your um, cross platform capability there, you could edit in here, and it's not quite the same, but I, maybe I can shift it over. Oh, hey, yeah. yeah. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised. That's kind yeah, of cool. Um, so there you have it. There's the word processing dem part of this uh, video. And let's now go into the web browsing. So I'm going to start with Firefox. This is the browser that came um, pre-installed by default. And um, just to get this to load a little faster, uh, well, first of all, I am I have uh, my Wi-Fi is pretty crappy, so I've got a wired cable to my router, and I already went to YouTube a few times, so I'm hoping that'll speed things up. So everything's already in the cache, so let me go ahead and type in the address. Okay, and it auto completes for me. Great. How long that takes. Um, and then, you know, okay, maybe I'll just wait for it to finish. And then once it has, I have the 
URL of my previous video in a text file, which I will copy and paste in. So here you can see, so it took a bit of time for Firefox to start up and to get to YouTube, but it's there now. And uh, let me go in here to this document. Copy that and go back over here. And there should be, okay, paste and go. Let's see how well, how quickly that runs, runs, starts. And how well it runs, actually. Because uh, in, in some of my tests uh, a year or two ago, which I, I didn't post on YouTube, but uh, I found that the computer that had been running decently for a few years wasn't able to play any videos on YouTube anymore at all. And actually, as you can see, this is, it's crappy. This is definitely crappy, but it's working. And let's see what, what video quality it's using. Okay, I clicked the gear, but nothing's coming up. Uh, okay, you know what, I'll just go ahead and stop that there because I have another web browser to try. So let's just close that and let's go into our next browser and the last thing to test today, which is Chromium. Because uh, I guess the um, open source version of Chrome, I think that's I think that's what it is. You know, someone can correct me if, I, if I'm wrong on that. Uh, so as with Firefox, I have all. I did already uh, go to YouTube here. Okay, just to get everything. Well, as much as I could loaded into the cache already. Uh, because you know, in, in addition to my Wi-Fi being bad, my internet connection in general is not that quick. Anyway, it looks like this is faster than Firefox. But I didn't actually time it. We'll, we'll see you later when I add the, uh, the stopwatch to the video. And here we are loading up the video from, you know, whenever it was I, I made it. And so it play. it looks like it's playing about as well as, oh, I was going to say as well as Firefox, but it looks like it might be buffering. Um, no. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, I posted that in 2013. Okay, five years ago, roughly. Okay, so, um, so there you have it. That is the full demonstration for this. So once again, this is um, a desktop computer, more than 15 years old, and it is running the latest version of Lubuntu, which is 18.04. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm probably going to create and post a few more videos along these lines in the near future. Um, one being a, a different operating system that I have on this computer right now, which is Antix. Uh, I'm probably also um, probably going to create a video about how to um, boot a live DVD a distro of Linux when you don't actually have a DVD drive uh, because that was kind of fun to figure out um, and uh, that's that's pretty much the plan for now so uh, if you like this please like and you know subscribe and you can you, know, you get notified of new content and uh, please do add your comments or questions or you know if I did say something that was wrong please correct me I I, I, uh, I welcome that uh, and that's it so Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. Uh, bye now.